Hey guys, this is Eric Weingarten with Weingarten Racing. Today's video is the horsepower difference between cutting down the divider on a dual plane intake manifold. So I'll tell you the engine that was used for and everything else with it. So this was the 406 small block Chevy Dino Mule. This was done probably two years ago. But anyway, um, it's a 406 small block Chevy. It's 11.2 compression. At the time, it had a set of AFR 195 Enforcer heads on it. And they were completely stock. It had a solid roller cam. 260, 270 on a 108, and 680 lift, I believe. Um, anyway, besides the cam, it's more of a street combination. At that point, it was. But the intake that was tested was actually this one. So, nice viewer had sent this in, or let me use this. And uh, this is an Edelbrock Performer RPM. This is not the air gap. It's just your Performer RPM. It's one that existed for such a long time really common one and you get the idea so anyway it has a full divider going across which i'll show you the manifold here in just a second so you can see what i've done and the idea was i wanted to test is like if i remove that divider how much power difference will it make on the dyno well i'm going to show you that but i want to show you the manifold and i'm going to tell you why i did what i did so uh, let me just grab that and show you here is the manifold and this is what was done as you can tell it's cut across here Right away, I'm going to get commenters saying, you removed too much. You could be the case, but here's the reason why I removed so much. I actually thought it wasn't going to do anything. So if I just put like a normal cut, I thought if it would only do like maybe two horsepower or so change. And honestly, I'm not going on the dyno and spending all that time and money uh, just to have a moderate, if not any gain, either way. So I thought, well, we'll just go all the way. So if it's going to do any difference... Having it this far apart should show me some kind of a difference. It was tested with a one inch open spacer, by the way, both the stock and after. So anyway, um, remove this whole thing and just to see what it would do. I, I thought this, this much material removed should show something and it did, just not the way I wanted. Here's the results. This red line is the stock and the black is the one that you just saw with the divider cut down. The stock just dominates it the whole way. Even at the higher RPM, this was what was shocking. So about 5,200, from 5,200 all the way to 6,800 RPM, the differences actually get kind of bigger than they do at the lower RPM. The lower RPM, that cutout did next to nothing. Um, it didn't, the stock versus cutout didn't change. But oddly enough, at the higher RPM, where I would figure this bigger cut would make more of a difference before the airflow, it hurt it, and the hurt here, so we went from, uh, you look at the graph here, that's about a 10 horsepower difference. So I was making 548 when stock form and went to 538. So that's a, that's a bit of a painful shock on this deal. I really thought it would be the actual opposite. I would thought we'd be the same here, and then the divider cut out would gain. It just didn't. So a bit of a bummer on this. Um, I do plan to do more eventual testing with this. Not this exact manifold, but doing this test again. Because I have a 383 small block Chevy Dyna Mule. It's actually sitting over there. And it's got double hump heads on it now, but we're going to put Vortec on it. But I'm going to do that same test, and I'll start with the smaller cut dyno, bigger cut dyno, and so on and so forth, instead of just one gigantic one. So we'll see if it shows anything. That engine is more of a street engine, although the 406 besides the saw roller cam really is. But um, anyway... I uh, hope you guys got something out of this video. Remember, I am no Superman. I did race Superboy. I don't port cast iron heads. I don't respond to Facebook or Instagram messages. The best way to get a hold of me is through email at winegardenracing at gmail.com. You guys take care.